Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today we're going to talk about our favorite event, the bonus RP event. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more informational videos about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So yeah, the bonus RP event was a big letdown from the start. It is actually active right now on the live server and I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't noticed. Uh, the devs have acknowledged that the event is underwhelming to say the least and have stated that they will put the event on steroids with mod 14. So it's active now on the preview server and how's the result? Um, the short answer is They've done it. It's actually a lot more valuable. Not only is the drop rate of RP much more frequent, also the amounts you're getting is quite decent. Uh, apart from running around killing stuff, bonus RP is also handed out in dungeons and skirmish chests. Uh, dungeon chests contain 200 refinement points and skirmish chests 100 refinement points. To give you an indication of the buff, I've run Castle's Retreat solo and Dreadring solo. Uh, Castle's Retreat gave me a total of 1060 RP and Dreadring rewarded me with 770 RP. Not bad for two runs that only take 5 minutes each. Heroic Encounters by the way do not give any bonus RP for completion. Other than the dungeon and skirmish I also ran around Bahovia a bit farming my rounds, collecting gear, and in total I gained about 2500 RP in 20 minutes. Definitely not bad. If you want to reach the cap of 100,000 RP for the event on one character, that would mean it would take about 13 hours. I will get back on the 13 hours later. On the way to the cap, there are so-called milestones. You can see them here. It's the triangles. And if you hover over the event, I got the wrong one now, you can also see how much RP you've already gained, 4620 RP. Which is nice because before you had to figure it out yourself um, by seeing how much you had before and after, it's pretty, um, yeah, just inconvenient, let's say like that. Each 25,000 RP you will reach one of those checkpoints and each checkpoint will reward you with some additional RP and one or two preservation wards. If you click on this you will see the milestones, at milestone 1 you get 2,500, 5,000 and you can see it here and here you can get a total of 5 preservation wards. So it takes approximately 13 hours to reach the cap. but there's something to shorten that time if you don't have 13 hours during the event and you really want to get this RP including all the bonuses. Also at this event indicator there is a small button with boost on it. If you click on that you will go to a shop where you can buy multipliers for the RP event. For each 25,000 AD your multiplier goes up by 1. So the first 25,000 uh, AD doubles your RP gain, but the second boost only brings your multiplier from 2 to 3, which is a 50% gain. The next one is less than 50%. Basically, each purchase has less and less effect. So what about the times? Without boost, as I said, reaching the cap takes 13 hours. With one boost, it takes 6.5 hours. With two boosts, it takes 4.3 hours. With three boosts, 3.25 hours. And with four boosts, if you spend 100,000 AD, it takes 2.6 hours to reach the cap, in theory. Based on these numbers, and I will write them down in the description as well, you can estimate whether or not you need to buy a boost to cap your RP for the event or not, if you care, that is. In my opinion buying one boost isn't that bad because you can get some decent rewards and it actually cuts your time in half.
but buying more with the decreasing value um, the second one only decreases the time needed by two hours I don't think that's a good buy so if you want to buy a boost buy the first one so in conclusion I do think cryptic has fixed the event it is relevant now um, one last thing not about the bonus RP event, event but in the last video I talked about the hunts and one thing I did not show you was this trader here uh, I saw it in a video of Northside um, he's also a video maker on YouTube but you can actually buy and trade cards you have to trade them first each card that you trade gives you one what is it called blank Taroka card and if you have them for each five you can get a random Taroka low card so it's not the ones at the top and actually once per week you can get a unique Taroka card which is one that you obviously don't have yet those are some nice bonuses if you are searching for special cards because some of them are really really bad so that's it for today short video i will go back to farm more of the gear i wasn't kidding when i said there are many many new ones to give you an indication there are 400 new pieces of gear i have quite a lot here already um there are basically 10 new sets I don't know if these are also different sets, but at 510, so much. Then you have the Hunt gear, you have uh, the Vistani gear, you have the Barovia gear. It's so much. It's absurd. Anyway, if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.